right, the rod has been selected and it's not replaced. The probability that each of the three remaining rods are in the same ratio as they were before the first selection. Still use the same rule, essentially. Uh, meaning based on the length, la, ba ba based on its length. Okay, this is important, this one here. Okay, because say if you take a length of, uh, okay, so the first rod is X, right? The second rod later they tell you is Y. Nah. Okay, so let's say if you take a rod of uh, 2, say they have 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So the length of 1, length of 2, length of 3, length of 4. So if you were to take the length of 3, the remaining one you have 1, 2, and 4. Okay? So this probability here, they are saying the ratio is the same. So in other words, as before, because just now it was directly proportional to the length, right? So this is 1 out of 1 plus 2 plus 4. The ratio is the same. Okay, so mean, meaning this is uh, 4, 2 plus 4, 2. Yeah, so it's 1 over 7. Okay? Then this is 2 out of 7. 4 out of 7. Okay? It means the ratio is the same, meaning because just now we, we deduce that it's proportional to its length. No longer you are uh, the, 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 the higher chance you get. Alright? So that's that's the whole idea there. So once, uh, okay. So defining y to be length of the rod and writing p one equals to that. Okay, great. So y is the second rod, lah. So p one is given by p y equals to one given x equals to two, right. P two is obviously p y. Using two, the, the length of two given the first rod you choose is one. Okay. So just find the first one first. I'm gonna do the first one. So P1 is equals to P1 is the probability of second rod is the length of one when the first rod is two. Okay. Um this is Py equals to one given intercept of x equals to 2 over px equals to 2 so px equals to 2 is this one here px equals to 2 just now um it was call it um probability here is what probably is 2 times k yeah? Same ratio doesn't mean you have exact same. Same ratio meaning same proportion. You, your whole probability has to add up to 1. Uh, so you cannot have the same probability as before. But it has to be the same. Um, what do you call it? The same, um, same proportion. Okay? So you cannot just uh, add it up to be, be. It's just same proportion. It just means same proportion. So 2. After that 2 you pick 1. This will be. 1, 3, and 4. So this is 4 plus 3 plus 1. This is 8. So it's 1 over 8 here. Okay. So this case here, uh, Py equals to 1 will be this one. And this side, Py equals to 2. This one here. This branch. So you're looking at this as uh, when Px equals to, actually, this is 1 over 8. Lah. But if you, you were not too sure, the top one y equals to 1, that's x equals to 2 is this one, okay, x, maybe I'll redraw this diagram, this diagram here is clearer, you just, x, y1, y, y1, so, x2 is actually just 2 over 10, so essentially this is just 1 over 8, then uh, p2, would be, py, equals to 2, means you choose 2 for the second one, and since the first one is 1, so py, to two intersect x equals one x equals two. so two x equals one here this will be two three and four so y equals this here um so here is seven plus so it's two. 
Actually, the whole thing is still over 9, but okay. 2, 9 times. Okay. So, P1 over P2 just be Remember this, uh, you don't need this calculation here. So for those of you who use this calculation, you don't need this. Uh, when you see x equals to 2, given you want y equals to 1 when x equals to 2, actually what you want to find is this one. 1 over 8. Okay. Remember I taught you how to read the tree diagram. Uh, given x equals to 2, you want to find y equals to 1. That is, is it. And then after that, uh, this one is 2 over 9. So you don't need the calculation. You can actually just take it up. I taught this before, but I, I'm not going to repeat myself because I think some of you will not even think of this, right? But you're right. So this question here, if you ask for Px, uh, the last one, okay, the last one, very last part. Nah. I don't think it's uh, that because is it? So this is Px plus, plus y equals to 3. So you want them to add up to be 3. You look at this diagram here. Um, okay, obviously 3 and 4 we don't need because 3 plus any x and y here it will not give us 3. Uh, the one that will give us 3 is actually this one here. 2 and 1. This 2 plus 1 will give us 3. And then 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Right? So we, we, we multiply them. Um, this. Okay. Plus 10, uh, 10 times okay. 1 over 10 times 2. There you go. Maybe I should just write. That. Last part. 